tonight, a man takes the law into his own hands and makes a citizen's arrest. He had the entire board of the Clark County Park District arrested. NBC5 investigates Phil Rogers is on the story, and he tells us it was all legal. Phil? Think about this. More than once, you've probably been so frustrated with some politician you wished someone would just place him under arrest. This is the story of someone who didn't just arrest one person, but a whole park district board. It all unfolded in downstate Clark County. About 30 citizens furious that the local park district was not allowing them to air a litany of grievances at a board meeting as the law requires. There's no public comment to this meeting, so this meeting has been adjourned and all of these public people are Public comments are required at every meeting by law. He's right. The Illinois Open Meetings Act specifically states that public comment is required by law. And in Clark County, John Kraft, a member of a local watchdog group, took it upon himself to place the entire Park District Board under arrest. I'm asking that each one of you, aside from you, you're not a board member, submit yourself to custody until we get the Sheriff Department out here. Can you call him, please? 911, what is your emergency? Yeah, my name is Kirk Allen. We need a deputy at the Mill Creek State Park for an arrest of the board members. We have a criminal act that's been committed. They've been notified of a civilian arrest issuance. And we need a deputy out here ASAP. You're under arrest, sir. Yeah, you're under arrest. The board attorney objected and, in fact, tried to tell board members they were free to go. Ma'am, that's not the statute. That I'm, I'm telling you, you're making a fool of yourself. And when the sheriff finally arrived, he told the board the citizens who objected were absolutely right and he enforced the arrest. You have to let the public talk. Pat McCraney with the Better Government Association calls it a cautionary tale for everyone in government. They work for the public and they, they, you know, they know they work for the public. Sometimes they might not think about that too much when they're thinking about themselves in a lot of cases, but they work for the public and they need to let the public have its say. There is a lawsuit pending. The park board's attorney, Kate Yargus, denied comments citing that suit, but said, quote, there is clear precedent in Illinois for resolving these matters, and the board has followed it. By the way, discussion about the lawsuit is on the agenda for tomorrow night's meeting, where we are told there will be time for public comment. Live in the newsroom, Phil Rogers, NBC5.